On December 2nd, Israeli forces launched between four and six missiles on the supposed Iranian military facility in the area of al Qiswa in southern Damascus. According to pro-government sources, the Syrian Air Defense Force SADF, fired several Buk M2E surface-to-air missiles from its positions in the Meze Air Base and intercepted at least three Israeli missiles. At least one Israeli missile hit the target. On November 12th, Israeli Defense Minister Avigdor Lieberman threatened to destroy the supposed Iranian base in al Qiswa and said that Israel will not allow the Shiite access to establish Syria as its forefront base. On December 3rd, Syrian government forces, led by the Tiger Forces, liberated eight villages from ISIS in the Euphrates River Valley in the area southeast of the city of Deir Zor. The SAA and the Tiger Forces re-established control over Salhiya, al Jadle, Kusurum Saba, Saf Safe, Ajrama, Vadi al Varod, Man al Sabka, and al Sham al Liya. They also entered and secured the al Ward oil field. On the same day, six Russian 222M3 strategic bombers delivered a massive strike on ISIS targets in the valley. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the strike destroyed munition depots, command posts, manpower, and hardware of ISIS. On December 4th, clashes continued between government troops and members of ISIS in the villages of Al Quta, located in about 16 kilometers away from Al Bukamal. As soon as the Tiger forces reach Al Bakmal, the ISIS members remaining in Syria will be besieged in the Homs Desert. The ISIS linked news agency Amok also claimed that members of ISIS have downed a Syrian warplane in the outskirts of al Bukamal. ISIS allegedly captured two pilots near the village of al Bukhan. On December 3rd, the Kurdish People Protection Units YPG, released an official statement declaring that the Syrian Democratic Forces SDF, have established a full control over the eastern Deir Zur countryside. The YPG and its female version, YPJ, are a core of the US-backed SDF. In the statement, the YPG also thanked the US-led coalition and the Russian military for the assistance in operations against ISIS. YPG General Commander Sipon Himo met with the representative of the Russian military. According to the Russian side, the Russian airspace forces have conducted 627 combat sorties and destroyed over 1,450 ISIS targets supporting operations of the YPG and local tribal forces against the terrorist group. The sides had a joint operation room in Salhiya in order to coordinate efforts of the Russians, the YPG, and tribal forces against ISIS. The Russians also provide assistance in establishing a committee which will be responsible for restoring peaceful life in the eastern part of the province of Deir Zor. Russia is also working on the issues of aid deliveries to the area. In northeastern Hama, the SA continued its limited efforts to establish a foothold for the widely expected advance towards Abu al-Duhur airbase controlled by Hayat al al-Sham, formerly Jabhat al-Nusra, the Syrian branch of al-Qaeda. Government forces have liberated the villages of Zabadi, Qasr, Shutaib, and Zafariya and advanced in Shutaib and al-Bulail. In eastern Gouda, Failak al-Rahman has carried out few attacks against the SA positions in Jabar and Ain Tarma. The SA responded with artillery strikes. The sites have conducted no major operations against each other. In southern Syria, clashes between the SAA and Hayat Tahrir al-Sham HTS, are ongoing southwest and northeast of the HTS held town of Beijing.